In this video, I'll be unboxing the 7th generation iPod Nano 16GB. Alright guys, so this is the all new 7th generation iPod Nano. It retails for $169 and it is 16GB. And 16GB is the only version Apple is actually offering with this new model. So you can't get a 32 or an 8 or anything like that. There we go. You can only get a 16 gigabyte new iPod Nano. Gone is the little mini one that you could wear as a wristwatch. This is more a traditional iPod Nano sort of size. And it has a two and a half inch touchscreen, as you can see right there. This does not run iOS, however, it runs a custom version of the iPod OS, I'm pretty sure. So on the side you can see it says iPod Nano in silver, as this is the silver back and white front iPod Nano. Uh, if you have like a blue iPod Nano, it will be in blue. So it's all color coded to the device. Go ahead and rip off that plastic. And as you can see, it does say 16 gigabyte on the back. So we'll go ahead and pop that up. And go ahead and remove the tray containing the iPod. Designed by Apple in California, as always. Here we have hello, little booklet on your new iPod, some important product information, and two tiny little Apple stickers. Next we have the lightning cable. Apple got rid of the 30 pin dot connector, we now have a much smaller lightning connector. And the ear pods, right there. Now these ear pods do not have the uh, mic and remote like the iPhones. If you want them, you'll have to buy them separately at an additional charge. Which I think is pretty ridiculous because when you have an iPod in your pocket, it's so much easier to just control it from the remote on the headphones rather than going to the device. So that really should be standard, but Apple probably want to make money selling them, I guess. So as you can see, there is no remote. And as you can see, there is the earpods. They have a very unique design to them. But these actually sound pretty good as I have tested them uh, with the iPhone 5. So they do sound pretty nice in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and unwrap the iPod. By simply bending it. Right there. There we go, it drops right out. And in addition with this new iPod is that it has Bluetooth. So that little plastic bit there is just to let the Bluetooth go through. Still no Wi-Fi, however, so you will be definitely syncing this with your Mac. Go ahead and remove the little film there. And we'll give you a first boot. Go ahead and select English UK. Done. And as you can see, you can get into the OS, but if you want any music on it, then you'll need to sync it with iTunes, as there is no Wi-Fi. But the addition of Bluetooth is awesome, because you can take this in your car, for example, load up your tunes on here, just sit this in your car, and yeah, just stream all the audio to your car. So, giving you a hardware tour, on the back we have the shiny Apple logo and iPod. On the top, we have a power button. On the right-hand side, absolutely nothing. On the bottom, the all-new lightning connector earphone jack on the left hand side, uh, volume up, volume down, and I'm pretty sure this is a play and pause button in the middle right there. And on the front we have the home button right there. And this is the first time the iPod Nano has got a home button. And one great thing about this is that this actually has an FM radio in it. As you can see right there, radio, go ahead and click that. As you can see, it doesn't work as you need to plug in headphones to get reception. But once you plug in the headphones... You can actually listen to the radio on it. Go ahead and bump up the one. And that's another thing, this does not have an inbuilt speaker. Go ahead and find a station.
There we go, 1041 Today FM. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And if you stop it, and I think it's up to half an hour or so, and then press play, it will actually start from where you left off. So it actually caches the radio for up to, it might even be an hour, I'm not sure, something like that. So that is very useful uh, for listening to radio, and I actually might use it a lot for this. So anyway guys, that is all for now on the 7th generation iPod Nano. Stay tuned for plenty more videos on this, of course, including the full review, and for more videos on the new 5th generation iPod Touch. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. Click that subscribe button right above this video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter over at twitter.com slash iTechEverything. See you guys in the next one.